Shalom. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, our King, our Redeemer, our Savior, meaning He's our everything, and we do need a Savior. That's right. And He is the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the beginning and the end in the Alpha and the Omega, who taught us in the synagogue, who taught us by the riverside, by the lake, by the park. That's right, who raised the dead, mm-hmm. who healed the sick. Yes, fed the multitude. That was us, yes. And we say, Barakata Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, for his only begotten son, our king, our redeemer, our savior, Yahweh Shai, means what? He saves. That's who is coming for the children of Israel. Again, Barakata Yahweh. Barakata Yahweh Shai. Barakata Yahweh. Barakata Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rekakodash. You know what? Precept just popped in my head. I know I haven't finished my my salutations here but i gotta bring this in now and i gotta before i forget it let's go here to the book of ecclesiasticus is this ecclesiasticus 43 family the blue letter is down you know the blue letter is down all of a sudden now you can't so esau is getting esau knows that this word is killing esau eh? but family we're going to continue to bring it out until the lord finally pulled the plug but let's go to the book of ecclesiasticus i believe it's 43 you see, it wasn't part of my precept, but it pops in my spirit. And we got to go there quickly. Is it 4320? Please bear with me. Um, it says here. Please, please bear with me. Yes, here. Let's go. Let's start from what? Verse 29. It says here. The Lord, Yahweh, is terrible. Very great and marvelous in his works. Are you listening to this? In his works. Why is that? Because family, yes, the fact that all the prophecies that the Lord gave eh, to all the prophets of old, everything the Lord told them eh, to speak to the children of Israel came to pass. Eh? That is why he is terrible and great at the same time. He brings destruction and then he brings mercy, especially when it comes to the children of Israel. You so-called Negroes and Latinos and African-Americans, Native American, this message is for you. But before we do that, let's bring this thing out. Ecclesiasticus 43.30 When ye glorify the Lord, when you praise in his name, Especially when it comes to his only begotten son. Listen to this. Listen to this. It says, exalt him as much as ye can. And exalt him. Put all your strength eh, forward. Eh, that's right. It says, for even yet will he far exceed. The fact that as I'm reading this, you know what pops in my head? The fact that the Lord, Yahweh Shai said, he has what? Family, he has gone to prepare a place for us. It says, in my father's house, there are many mansions referring to what? All the planets out there. So that is why it says here, when you glorify the Lord, that's what I'm thinking about. What the Lord is preparing for what? The children of Israel, this time around, the elect. He says, exalt him as much as he can, for even yet will he far a seed. And when ye exalt him, it says here, when you lift up the name of the Lord, Put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Are you listening to this? Please bear with me one second. Yes. So, okay. Sorry about that. Listen, you can't go far enough for the Lord. Hey? Because family, when we see these prophecies, it's like we've won the lottery. We know, yes, we know things are things are happening. Because let's go back five, six years from now. That's no, sorry, it's five, six years ago. Things are not popping like the way they are popping right now. That is why this time around, family, we are putting all our strength forward because we know that this is it. 
We are not going back to 2016. This is the end of Esau's kingdom. So before we get right into it, family, let's again give double honors. And if I didn't say it, again, all praises, honor, and glory, first and foremost, to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. And now, let's give double honors to our head apostles, and followed by the bishop, the elders, from the great millstone that taught us this truth. Like I always say this, some of us, we only came in three days ago. Some of these men have been laboring for four, or close to 40 years, 35, 36 years. So indeed, family, these are the true leaders of Israel today. And family, they are defending the gospel and we came into their labor. So again, double honors to our leaders from the great millstone and salutation. Eh? Peace to the elect. Always start with 144,000. The men that are out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth. And I pray this message here will be edifying. And I pray this message here will go out and family and comfort you. And, and I hope that when it's all said and done, you are edified. Again, all praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rekwakodash, and peace to the Lord's elect. Family, before we get right into we have a few articles to cover. It says here, Isaiah 54, 16. It says, Behold, I, the Lord, Yahweh, have created the smith. That bloweth the coals in the fire. The modern day smith are what? Your scientists. These are the ones that put all this nuclear mess to display the atom. Eh? And they put all this instrument forth. But listen to this. I don't want to jump the gun. And that bringeth forth an instrument. The instruments are what? The missiles. That's why your intercontinental ballistic missile, eh? your hypersonic missile, whatever missile, that's right, these nations are creating, it is the Lord that gave them the technology. He says here, I, the Lord, let me repeat that again. Behold, I, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, have created the smith, that's the scientist today, that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. This nation is about to destroy each other. Family. Yes. That's where everything is leading to. They are about to set this world on fire. Because why? That's how the Lord wants it. He says, shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord has not done it. And I want to go. He says, shall there be evil in the city that the Lord has not done it? That's why everything that is happening as family is, is, is being directed by the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1 tells you. And, but yes, the world is about to set this place on fire. But let's go here. I want to bring us something popular. Let's go to Isaiah 45 7. And I haven't been there in a while. I hope it's 45 7. Let's go there quickly. It says here, and I, the Lord, I form the light. In the plantation Christianity, they were always going to tell you that the Lord loves all the time. The Lord is all about holding hands, everybody coming together. All this nation, we're all sitting around in circle and then we're clapping our hands and we say the Lord is good all the time. My Lord is good all the time. Nonsense. Pure garbage. They don't know the Lord that we serve. It says here, Isaiah 45 verse 7. I form the light. Eh? And create darkness. What do you witness there? That is balance, right? He cannot just be just light and not darkness. No, that is balance right there. Because the Lord says to us, a false balance is an abomination to him. So everything that he creates has to be in twos. Hopefully I can get that preacher somewhere in Ecclesiastes. And he says here, I make peace and create evil. You hear that? I make peace. And create evil. You see? So when you see the Lord bring judgment, eh, you hear the news, oh man, this beautiful woman, eh, all five of her kids, they were, they were smoked in a car accident. Yes, that is the Lord. The Lord brought the judgment. 
He says what? That, that, that he says what? Uh, 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 what is it called? Um, uh, uh, what somewhere in Job? Is it Job? I can't. I haven't gone there in a while. Ah, uh, what is it called? Um, who died being innocent? That's right. Who? You see, the average person doesn't know that the Lord bring does all these things here. It tells you the issues of death belong. It belongs to the Lord. He says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord. He, he didn't say there was on other gods be, uh, uh, with him. He says, I, I, the Lord, Yahweh, eh, eh, do all these things. Not your Buddha, your Allah, your, uh, your Santa Maria, whatever God these nations worship. No, that judgment is coming from the Lord. That's how beautiful it is. Eh? That's Isaiah 45, 7. Eh? Did I miss something here? Eh? It says what? Every battle of the warrior. Hey, <laughs> family, we're going to get in the attic. I just want to bring a few, few precepts here just to show you that everything that is happening again is the Lord that is doing. Isaiah 9, 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. Hey, it, going back to the ancient time, even take the movie like the 300, the movie 300, right? Hey. You see how this man, family, they have their sword, their shield. And family, the fight, family, they started fighting. It's a close combat, okay? That's why, right. uh, what is it called? Uh, spears and everything else, even Troy. That's why, right. blood splashing everywhere. Yes, that's how the ancient battles were fought. Close combat, helmet on, shield on. People are getting it in. And blood everywhere. Their, their, their garment is soaked with blood. It says, this is what it's saying. For every battle of the warrior, Isaiah 9, 5, is with confused noise. And garments roll in blood. You hear that? But this, the third world war, the war to end all wars, which is that be going to be directed by Yahweh in the valley of Jehoshaphat. He said, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. You see this here, family? That's how the, the next war, the war to end all wars, that's how it's going to be fought. Burning with fuel and family. That is why he says, when you glorify the Lord, you can't go far enough. Hey, let's get into it. And this is from War News 27. Family, few are the cover. And then when it's all said and done, I hope you are edified and give glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who brought you hey, to this glorious gospel. We do not take it for granted. We have won the lottery. Talking about dodging the bullet, this is it, family. That's right. Dodging the bullet. This is you dodging the bullet. You hear me? Russia warns Netanyahu with a leaked bomb. Mm -hmm. Iran has nuclear heads. Yeah, we know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to come and tell you. The same way, uh, what is it called? Everybody know that uh, uh, Israel have a nuclear nu nuclear missile. But guess what? They are not under the what, the International Atomic Energies uh, Treaty. So they don't have to disclose whatever they have. So the same thing. But this time here, yeah, they're telling you. It says, Russia wants nothing. That's why Iran is acting boldly. Eh? That's the time that we are living in. The Comenians. Mentioned in the book of 2nd Ezra, is it 15 or 6? Is it, uh, let me see. I think it's 2nd Ezra 15. Uh, uh, let me do something quickly. Please bear with me. Let's let's do this quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to the Apocrypha. Is this 2nd Ezra... Dragons of the Arabians. Eh? That's right. We're going to hold this. We're going to have this on deck. Eh? Let's hold that on deck. 1529. Let's hold that on deck. Mm? Let's go back here. Actually, no. What am I doing? What did I just do? Uh, please bear with me. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go back to 20. Let's pick it up from. Yeah, behold a horrible vision. Oh, that is uh, that's fire. He says here, Iran has a nuclear warheads. Putin congratulates 
congratulated us on the attack on Israel. Because guess what? Ezekiel 38, let's prove that quickly. Eh? I know I'm jumping all over the pages, but family, we here, we have to prove everything. Let's go to Ezekiel, mm? Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel 38 quickly, just to show you that Persia, which is modern day Iran, was the first nation mentioned in the book of Ezekiel 38. That Ezekiel 38, that Russia is going to be a god too, right? Russia is your modern day sorry uh what is the gog the land of magog is where the modern day russia is located and russia also in the bible is known as the meat eh? the bear these are all code name for russia barakata yahawa bahashem yahawa shai family please bear with me please bear with me this word here is the only thing that excites us eh? it says here you see persia hmm the fact that Putin is so close to Iran today. You see, Ezekiel 38, 5. Persia is the first nation mentioned. These are the nations that are eventually... Ethiopia is in business with Russia. Libya, the same. Two days ago, Algeria just signed a security pact with Russia. So you, you're looking at what the Lord is doing. He's separating what? The east from the west. The global south. That's right. That's right. And the global north. Which is what? America and the West and what? Russia and the global South. Russia got China. They got North Korea. Family, the Lord is what? Separating the team. And that's right. We have the East against the West. Mm? That's called the All-Star Game. And that's what is about to take place. It says Russia wants Netanyahu with a leak bomb. Iran has nuclear warheads. Putin congratulated us on the attack on Israel. Says Tehran. Listen to this. Let's read on. Mm. This is again from War News 24-7. Family, YouTube will not allow me to put articles in the description box. Don't, he, they won't allow me to do it. Because I have so many suspensions on this channel. I have a small family, a, a small subscriber. The family, I've been suspended more than you know. I Anyhow, I don't want to get into that. Because family, it doesn't matter. I can open another channel today. It is not about the viewership, the family, the energy will remain the same. Eh? Because once you start looking at those numbers, hey, family, then it becomes about you. But it's not about you. This is the work of the Lord. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Moscow leaked bombshell information about the Middle East in anticipation of Israel attack. According to Russian military media, that is fully controlled by what? The Kremlin. Yes, Kremlin control. Everything is tight. But listen to this. It says here, Iran has a nuclear warhead. We know that. Eh? <laughs> here, it should be noted that the same conclusion was reached by many Western analysts. I believe even, uh, was it Square Raider? No, somebody else said it. No, no, so Square Raider. Somebody, I was watching something, somebody this week. And they said, yeah, they are sure Iran has nuclear uh, missile because the Iran action over the over last weekend and shows that, yes, they are ready to go and they are ready to take on what? Uh, what is it called? Um, they are ready to go to take down Israel because that's Bible prophecy. The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahusha is going to get all the credit. He said here it, here it should be noted that the same conclusion was reached by many Western analysts who noted that. Iran's change of attitude shows that it either has a nuclear slash dirty bomb in its hands or has acquired nuclear warheads or is very close, a matter of days to, to building. Mm? We should note that yesterday, the chairman of the Iranian parliament national security community above, above Fazi Amui said that Iran is ready to use a weapon it has never used before if Israel decides to retaliate. Israel said they are going to retaliate, just so you know. And we say, that's right. That's, we love that energy. We want them to maintain that same energy. We don't want nobody to have weak needs. Family, we want them to go full steam ahead. Eh? Because we know that we need to be in trouble for the King Yahawashai to step in. Like our beloved apostle to her, coin 2024 to be what the hopeful year because we are what prisoners of hope the hopeful year of what that's why jacob's trouble and he says jacob shall be saved out of it jeremiah 30 verse 7 he says the bad news about israel does not stop here sorry does not stop there 
according to the Iranian news agency, there was a telephone conversation between Russia President Putin and his Iranian counterpart, Rashid, E. Rashid, in which Russian President Vladimir Putin praised Iran's attack on Israel as one of the best ways to punish the aggressor and an indication of the prudence and the, the rationality of Iran's leaders. According to the Iranian news agency, the president of Russia, Putin, is reported to have said, what happened on the part of Iran in response to this Israeli criminal act and in the shadow of the inaction of the United Nations Security Council, another useless organization, eh, was the best way to punish the aggressor and the manifestation of the tact and rationality of its leaders, Iran. Iranian President Ibrahim Rassi responded in a phone call with his Russia counterpart Vladimir Putin on Tuesday that any action against Iran interests will be answered in a broader, heavier, and more painful way. And that's what we want, family. That's what we want. Because Ezekiel 38 verse 5 told that Persia, Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. But the key point here is the next verse, that's what is telling goma and all his band that whole region and turkey is going to join in yes we know turkey is a member of nato but family no that marriage is about to be yeah they're about to go separate ways because at the end of the day prophecy have to be fulfilled armenia is going to join in because jeremiah 51 also tells us oh yeah armenia though that whole region they're about to turn on the west Eh? He said, the Togoma of the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. But listen to verse 7. The Lord is telling Russia, this because this message is for what? Russia. It says here, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself. So you make sure that you are good to go. Make sure that you have all those ICBMs ready. Those hypersonic, the Sky 4, and the Kinzo. Make sure they are ready. But not just make sure that you have them all. But make sure, it says, and all thy company that are assembled unto thee. All the nations that we just listed above uh, Ezekiel 38 from 5 to 6. All the nations that the Lord have assembled around you. Listen to what the Lord is saying. And all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Family, if Shaquille O'Neal is walking through a place family he has about six different security guards what what is the job of a security guard to make sure what nothing happened to shaquille o'neal eh if putin is traveling putin have what secret services whatever russia uh no america have secret service but whatever russia intelligence whoever is protecting his security detail they gotta make sure that what Putin is protected. So what? Uh, they are a guard unto Putin. Something happened to Putin, their head is on the line. So the Lord is putting what? Uh, Russia to be a guard unto this nation. So if you are a guard, that means what? Uh, you're going to protect the nations. Russia is going to protect Iran. But they made it clear that if America joins in, Russia is going to protect Iran. And then China also came out and said, if America goes against Russia, China is going to step in. Family, you see where this is going? Mm -hmm. that is why when you glorify the lord family you can't go far enough mm -hmm. you can't go far enough but let's bring the next article family this is how this is what excites us when we see all everything the lord have said is coming to pass family you have no other choice but to lift up the name of our power the power of abraham isaac and jacob yahweh but hashem yahweh shai we are telling all these nations that it is our power yahweh who is doing all this Yes, we sound. We may sound crazy, but family, we are excited because why? The king Yahweh Shai says he can't wait to have a glass of wine with us. That's right, the kingdom of heaven. That's what it's all about. That penny. That's what we all working for. We all working for that penny. We want to see the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Yahweh Shai. This is his work. You think this is my thing? No, no, this is not mine. If you reject this word, you think you're rejecting me? Uh-uh, you're not rejecting me. You are rejecting me. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And he put it best. He said, they that don't want me to rule over them. That's why, listen to what Yahweh Shai says. They that don't want me to rule over them, bring them hither and slay them in front of, let me see, let me see, let me see if I can find him. Slay them in front of, of me let me let me see if i can find it uh no sam no sam look 
Oh, beautiful. It says, red letter, that's Jehovah Shai speaking, by the way. Luke 19, 27. It said, but those mine enemies, the ones that are rejecting these messages, yes, the message that the men of the Lord starting with our head apostles all the way down. Day in and day are feeding you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans. Listen to this. But those mind enemy, because you reject it, you reject this word, you are the enemy of the Lord. Hmm? It says, which would not that I should reign over them. Because this is why this message will lead you. If you accept this here, it, be, it also has to be given to you. Eh? It has to be given to you before the foundation of the earth. You can't make yourself an elect. Only the elect are going to receive this message. The ones that are rejected, the ones that reject this message, they were meant to reject it. Hey, man, the Lord is bad, man. Remember his balance, eh? His balance. He said, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Does that sound like the king Yahawashai is a very soft man, blonde hair, blue eyes, you know, the hair flowing up in the air and everybody can come and he loves everybody. No, he's saying slay them in, before me, in front of me. I want to steal you, cut their head off. This is what the Lord is saying. Hmm? Let's read on. Surprise in NATO. Eh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, eh, which is right now, they have over 32 members right now. Fla no, Finland and Sweden were the last two to join. Eh? It says here in America, you know, the whole, it says control all of them. It says the first joint Russia-Chinese factories for the production of military equipment and drones are operating at full capacity. You hear that? Barakata Yahawa Bahashem Yahusha. Unified defense structure. So the first article i brought it was what iran and russia together doing business and having military pack now russia and chinese china chinese hmm, are doing business building defenses building drones together military equipment he said the american intelligence services have released new updated information which shows that there is a military partnership between russia and china to a much greater extent than was initially estimated with the aim of defeating nato in ukraine and beyond the american claim that the chinese and russian companies are working together to produce drone inside russia yes but we regardless, you know, America like to add an extra twist to it. But we don't care because we've seen that the fact that China came out this week and said, yep, they got Russia back. Family, we are excited. Eh? He said China is helping Russia carry out the, its biggest military eh, buildup since the Soviet era and at a faster pace than we thought. Possibly at the start of the war in Ukraine, a senior U.S. official has won. And as an example of Beijing's support for Russia military industrial complex, another senior U.S. official cited Moscow massive purchases of Chinese electronic components, machine tools, and explosives, adding that Chinese and Russian entities are working to jointly produce unmanned aerial vehicle. That's right on russia territory family that is why we will continue to lift up the name of our power yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rekar kodash <clears throat> behold second ezra fifteen twenty. this is where all leading to it says behold says the power i will call together all the kings of the earth and that's right your leaders today that's why some, some places they refer to them what they are prime ministers, they are kings, the family. Your prime ministers, your president, they are not pushed, they are not doing anything. The ones that are controlling that those countries, you don't see them. They are known as the elite. Eh? That's right, they are behind the scene controlling these presidents and these prime ministers. He says, Yeah, but in it, listen, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun. Who's located in the east? That's right. Russia is part of the east. We have North Korea. We have China. Hey, hey, from the south. Hey, we have what? We have what? Uh, a, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, Ethiopia. We have Libya. We have Algeria right now. We have the global south. He says here from the east and Lebanon to turn themselves one against another. You hear that? 
and repay the things that they have done to them. Who the controversy of Zion? Hmm? It's all about what? That's right. The way they treated the lost people. Eh? Huh. Nothing has that happened yet. So, family, let's continue. Joel 3.9. I'm going to hold this on deck later on. But let's bring this out. And major Ukrainian attack with MGM-140 attackers. This belonged to who? America on Russia base in Crimea. And Putin have made it clear. Eh? That if you bring down that Crimean bridge, anybody responsible for it, yeah, is going to be held accountable. And America is helping Ukraine. But the same people are saying that Russia is helping, uh, sorry, they said, they said China is helping Russia. You see, you see the hypocrisy there. But family, we could care less. We have no horse in this race. We want this thing to escalate. So our King, our Redeemer, Yahweh Shai, will come and deliver us. If it doesn't escalate, we're not going to be delivered. We know that what? The microchip have to be pushed. We want Esau to hurry up and destroy the system. Collapse it and bring the microchip. Let's go already. Revelation 13, 16. The Lord, you're going to do it. We're telling you before it happened. We're telling you that you eventually going to what? Microchip everybody. This, uh, this is the information that our beloved apostles, the elders, the bishop have been pushing from donkey ages. Eh? Family, like I said, some of us, we only came in two days ago. Hmm? But we are extremely grateful. But let's read on. America drone RQ-4B recorded the moment of the attack. Family, Russia took a hit this morning. A major hit. But guess what? Russia is going to respond. But we are waiting. So things are heating up. It says Ukrainian forces launched a complex missile attack against Russia's Zankoy Air Base mm, in Crimea, destroying, according to Kiev, three X-400 artillery units, one X-400 radar, two X-300. These are all defense, uh, um, uh, well, uh, uh, what's it called? Missile defense equipment. Okay, so this is major. We're talking about three here, one that's four, eh? and uh, uh, two S 300 artillery units and an anti aircraft missile depot. Listen to this Russia confirmed Ukrainian attack, so it did happen. And some casualties are due the Zankoy air base in Crimea. Crimea was the, the part of uh, it was annexed, it was annexed from Ukraine. Uh, how many years ago? I can't remember, maybe. More than 15 years ago, eh? I think I think it's more than 50 years ago. So it's part of Russia right now. The family, Ukraine, and the and, and NATO and the US obviously have been trying to uh, that's right, destroy Crimea, trying to destroy the bridge. They tried they made several attempts to blow up the bridge, and eh? but the bridge is still standing. But Russia have made it clear. Family, they won the third world war. They're gonna get it. You see, we are waiting. We have time on our hand, they don't have time. Because this whole the microchip, they gotta push it. They are running out of time. That's why it says what well, Revelation 12 12. It says what well, the devil knows that he has but a short time. Family, I want to make sure I coded it right. Let's go here. Revelation. Hmm? Let's go. Revelation 12 12. Eh? Revelation 12. Verse 12, family, blue letter is down. Maybe I'll try. It said, therefore, rejoice ye heaven. That's you, the Israelite. Right? We are the Israelite. And ye that dwell in them. Eh? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, the rest of the nation. It says, and of the sea, represent the people. For the devil, the adversary, the one that cast the book behind, the one that hid the most high laws, he saw he himself proclaim white men, is come down unto you, having great wrath. You hear that? Great wrath. Why? Because why? He knoweth that he have but a short time to do what? To do his reset, his new world order, which is going to involve you taking a microchip. So right now he's desperate. In order to bring it in, you have to cause third world war. Nuclear missiles have to be flying, eh? So that when he comes and goes, okay, you guys want me to st stop the war? You want me to stop the war? All right, everybody, take a chip. Let's, that's right. You're going to get uh, allowances. It's called a uh, universal basic income, $2,000 a month. Eh? But you have to take the microchip. But the moment that thing goes in your hand, the moment that microchip 
enters your uh, your forehead or your hand, guess what? You basically said that you don't want your Hawashite to rule over you. The hell with your, your king of kings. The hell with the king, Yahawashat. Basically, that's what you just said. And then and then the other thing that you just made, eh? and the, the, the other thing that you just, uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, um, you know, agreed to just by your action, by taking the chip. You basically said, Esau, Edom, self-proclaimed white man is your God forever. That's right. And you're going to eat the missile. That's why we're telling you never, ever to take it. It's going to be a physical mark. Okay. Karagma, Revelation 13, 16. All right, let's go. It says, yes. Yeah. So he knows that he has but a short time. But let's go. According to Moscow, initial evidence indicates that the Ukrainian attack with multiple MGM-140 attacking ballistics missiles, it is possible that Ukrainian aircraft also participated in the attack, which launched Storm Shadow, Sh Tom St sorry, Storm Shadow and Scarp cruise missiles. I think Storm Shadow is from Britain. I think it's one of those Britain uh, missiles. And it says what the Russia says the attack was carried out under the supervision of an American drone RQ uh, 4B. You see what you see, you see that it was carried out by what American family. It is over, it is over. This kingdom, that's why the Bible says, What the meat when the time come, let's bring it up because here we all about proving what what we say let's go to this it's going to be what uh russia that's going to take down america babylon the great let's go here to the book of uh, isaiah man isaiah jeremiah your prophetic books these books are on fire family they are all on fire in this last day isaiah 13 we're going to pick it up from verse 17 yahweh willing he says here behold i will stir up the meat against them the meats are what modern day Russia. We shall not regard silver and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. So you can bribe them. You can say, Russia, we know we screwed up. We've been attacking you. We've used Ukraine eh, as a proxy to attack you and destroy your society. Can we actually pay you out right now? Yes, we're going to give you gold, silver, whatever you want. We're going to give you. No, the Lord says, no, they're not going to take it. Uh-uh. It says they are bows. These are their missiles. It says also shall dash the young men to pieces. Are you hearing this? Eh? And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Pregnant women? Uh-uh. Everything is a goal for Russia. Because yes, there was a terrorist attack in Russia a few years. No, not as a few years ago. Few, I think less than two months ago. Yes, 144,000 people died. It was a concert hall. They remember that. Russians don't forget anything. Eh? 144 family that's a spiritual number he said the abodes also shall dash the young men to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb their eye shall not spare children hmm? and babylon the babylon because you start the the, the top of this here it was talk, it's talking about what the destruction of babylon isaiah 13 the burden of babylon Hey, it says, and Babylon, the glory of kingdom, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Because he overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah with what? Fire. That's right. <coughs> Family, that's what is coming for America. So you see what they are doing? I'm not even going to bore you with the video. Family, it is just, who off the hook. Hey, but let's get the next article. This is all from World News 24-7. But like I said, I can't put this in the description box. Family, YouTube doesn't allow me to. But let's go on here. Israel, the decision to strike Iran is final. This is from Pro News. And we say, Barakata, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We will hit sensitive facilities. Will the Israeli hit nuclear labs? We said, yes. And everything the Lord said is, is going to happen. It's happening. Look at the missiles. Huh? Fuel and fire, the next war that is coming. And the Israeli armed forces have determined how to respond to the recent attack by Iran. They forget that they were the ones that started it. They hit Iranian embassy in what? In Syria. Kill, I think, seven of the major, I think seven, no, they killed three or four military, high-ranking military officers. And, but they are not mentioning that though. But anyhow, family, we could care less. Like I said, we have no horse in this race. We are just we are just here to bring the word out. Eh? That's our responsibility. Eh? 
We are just the mouthpiece of the Lord. The Lord can turn a stone to teach this word here, family. We got to do what the Lord is asking us to do. Eh? He says, Israel responds to the massive attack by Iran is taken for granted. Israel responds to the massive attack by Iran is, take, is taken for granted with the decision to initiate and conduct it resting in the hands of the Israeli leadership, political and military. Let's go on. It said, most of the Israeli decision-making centers believe that the action should be taken as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. We said, don't delay it. Let's go already. But I think they're looking for maybe, possibly, who could be on Friday because they want what? That's why the stock market to close first before they do it. So we shall see. Lord willing, Lord willing. Israel War Council recently concluded its meeting with a decision being final in favor of a direct strike on Iran. We said, yes. Bring it. Eh? That's right. Bring it. Eh? We said bring it. It says, updated. It said, government ministers have advised Netanyahu to attack sensitive facilities in Iran. Most of the decision makers believe that the action should be carried out as soon as possible. And we said, yes, family, it is coming. We just have to wait. Family, we have time on our hand. That's what the Bible says here. Let's, let's go here quickly. It says what? Ecclesiastes. We have time. Eh? I love this precept. I won't lie. What was that? I think, oh no, Ecclesiastes should be at the top. Where is it? All right, in front of me too. Ecclesiastes and 7 verse 8. And family, listen to this. We have time on our hand. They don't have time. Because Yahweh Shai is at the door. Just waiting for that tap on the shoulder <laughs> from the father, Yahweh. Mm? And he's it's, it's, it's coming to get it in. It says here, better is the end of a thing. And we know why. Esau, self-proclaimed white man, is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 9. He says here, and the patient, who is the patient? Who, who is suffering right now? That's the Israelite. In spirit is better than the proud in spirit. They are the proud. They are the one telling you that in 2030, you know what though? Everybody's going to be chipped. By then, everybody will be chipped. And in 2050, we're going to do away with gas, cars. We're all going to be flying up in the air. Eh? Uh, robots are going to take over the world. Everybody's going to be living in 15-minute city. That's the mind of the proud. But that's their inward thought is that what? Their houses shall continue forever. Mm! That's the devil. Eh? The Lord set up all this kingdom, but Esau thinks his kingdom is so special that it's going to continue forever. Again, let's read on. Better is the end of a thing mm, than the beginning eh, thereof. And the patient in spirit, that's the elect, is better than the proud. Esau Edom, the one that tells you that his kingdom is going to go on forever. Family. It's not going to go on for it. Look at what is happening in Dubai. It never rained in Dubai. That's a desert, family. But in the next, the last 24 hours, I just want to drop this here. Chaos continued to prevail in Dubai. Oman, Bahrain, and Qatar due to heavy rain forces. The amount of rain that fell in the in 24 hours is equivalent to the amount of what? The amount of in two years i think that's what they're trying to say the flood that have hit dubai and other gulf countries in the recent hours are unusual with the intercontinent with with the international media reporting incredible images of the prevailing chaos just yesterday in span of 24 hours the amount of rain that fell in dubai was equivalent to two whole years you listen to this but let's bring a precept. What did the Lord says? Eh? What did the Lord says in the book of Matthew when the apostles went to him and said, King, tell us what are the things that we should be waiting for? And eh? what, what are the things that we should be looking out for before your second coming? Matthew 24 verse 3. And as he sat upon the mount, all of his favorite tree, eh? the disciple came unto him privately eh? saying, tell us. When shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? The end of what? Esau's kingdom is not going to be the earth abided forever. Esau's kingdom is the wicked kingdom, which is only for that short season. He's in it. Eh? Revelation 20. This is the short season. It is over for these devils. He says here, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed 
that no man deceive you. The elect cannot be deceived. He said, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am what? The anointed, and shall deceive many. The Lord says what? The deceive and the deceiver are both his. If you are deceived, guess what? That was your lot. And ye shall hear of wars. It's already happening. And it's already happening. And rumors of war. We just told you that what? Israel is about to go round two with Iran. And see that ye be not troubled. And that's right. For all these things that we just mentioned. And Eh? must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Because what? We're still waiting for the microchip. All prophecy have to be fulfilled. We're waiting for civil war in America. Eh? It's all coming together. He said, for nation shall rise against nation. We have, don't have to look far to see that is happening right now. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be what? Famines, lack of food. That's why right, lack of resources. And desperation is going to kick in. Eh? Second Ezra 15, Second Ezra 16, Second Ezra 9. Remind us of that. And pestilences, diseases, and earthquakes in diverse places. Water, all these storms, all these are what? Family shows you that we are at the end. You see, we, you see, family, I went on Twitter. Where is that? Where is Twitter? And family, the image is insane. But you know what? Let's finish here. Let's finish. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Listen to this. Eh? And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be what? Famines and pestilences, diseases and earthquakes in different places, diverse places. But here... All these are the beginning of sorrows. You hear that? All these are the beginning of sorrows. This is just the beginning of it. Look at this, family. Yeah. Your cat. Hmm? This is the one. Dubai. This is a desert. That's why the Lord needs to be feared. Oh, people are going to fear the Lord. Eh? They're going to fear the Lord. Oh, that's the same one. Oh, yeah. That's the same one. Look at this. People are so stupid, eh? <laughs> people, people have really have no no clue what the Lord is about to do, eh? Eh? Everything is a joke, but that's okay. The Lord said it best. Let's finish there. It's just gonna be like the days of Noah. Is it Matthew? I'm um, Matthew twenty four. Is it thirty seven? Let me see here. Yeah, Tawari Al Basham It says here. But as the days of Noah, we you know this whole chapter is just banging. It says here. But he said, but let me pick it up from verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. The king of king himself doesn't know. But he gave us the clue though. He gave us the things to be looking out for. All right. But listen to this. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the son of man be. You ask yourself, what was happening in Noah's day? Just go back to them when Noah re received the information from the Lord that built the ark. They saw Noah building the ark, family, and they, saw, they heard Noah preaching, telling them that the world was coming to an end. Because you go back to the book of Genesis chapter 6, verse 6, the Lord tells you that wickedness was everywhere, right? So the Lord says, okay, I'm going to destroy the world that I've made. So you are, he gave that instruction to Noah. And Noah preached, but there's a remnant the Lord didn't destroy everybody. He had a remnant. The Lord always, the Lord is about small number. So the same thing is happening right now. Hey, Noah built the ark and we are building the spiritual ark. But you think the average person, they will see that storm, they will just laugh at it. Oh, okay, well, it's climate change, climate change. No, 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 no. This place is coming to an end. It is over. He says here, for us, the days, 
that were before. Listen to this, verse 38. Eh? Before the flood, they were eating mm? and drinking. Meaning they were having a good time, family. All white affair. The clubs were banging. Eh? Everybody was having a good time. Everybody was doing all type of wickedness. Whatever pops in their head. Eh? Let's find out what... What, look, let's hear what the Lord, the sovereign Lord says. I'm going to come back to Matthew. But let's find out why the Lord destroyed. Let's go to Genesis quickly. Let's go to Genesis. We're going to hear it. Genesis 6, 6. And then we're going to pick it up from verse 6. Straight to the point. It says here, and it repented. No, 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 no. Let's go back. This is, it says here, verse 5. And the Lord saw that the wickedness of men was great in the earth. Genesis 6, 6 verse 5. And that Every imagination of the thought of his heart was only evil continually. Family, in this world today, family, you can do whatever your heart is. You wake up this morning and you like to sleep with a goat. Family, you can sleep with a goat. Eh? Family, you can do whatever wickedness pops in your head. Eh? This was what, what was happening in Noah's day. That's what the Lord says. Why? Let me repeat that again. It says, every and, and that every imagination of the thought of his heart, meaning his mind was what? Only evil continually. Eh? And it repented the Lord, Yahweh, that what? He had made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. So the Lord saw the same wickedness that was happening. Family, it is happening right now. Eh? And the Lord said what? I will destroy men whom I have created from the face of the earth both men and beasts and the creeping things and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. But here, the, the, the elect, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Now let's go back to Matthew 24, verse 7. So now you know why Yahweh Pahashem Yahusha Yahweh Shai made this, uh, this comment. It says here, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. They're going to see the lost elect being beamed up into the ship and then they're going to repent. Mm? They're going to repent. But then here, listen to what the Lord says. The next, the next verse says, And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Are you listening to this? The same way, the Lord repeats, there's nothing new under the sun. The same way they were partying and doing all type of wickedness, the same thing is happening right now. Eh? He said, then shall two be in the field. Family, I pray, listen to this, the one shall be taken and we pray that we are the one taken. And the other left. Can you imagine you witnessing somebody being beamed up and you left behind? Man, at that point, I said, let, this, let, let, the, let, the, let the ground open and swallow me. And family, and that's not the mindset that we should be. We should be do giving diligent, working on your own salvation with fear and trembling. Because when you see somebody being beamed up and you left behind, family, I don't even want to imagine that. You see, I don't. That's why it, it behoove you. That's why we do this lesson. That's why we do this work. That's why we do this work. Because why? We are afraid to be left behind. You see? Doing the best that we can in this vessel to please the Lord. Yeah? He said, then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. Meaning at work. The one shall be taken and the other left. Verse 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord does come. That's why we're giving diligence. Constantly watching. Watching the news. Because that's how you measure what? Prophecy. Beloved, I hope you're all edified. I will leave it there. Again, I just want to bring this out quickly. Edify the sheep. Let you know that, yes, things are popping. Okay, things are popping. Keep your head on a swivel. All right? Be circumspect. And always giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh. But Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, that have called us to this glorious gospel. Salvation is at the door. All right? We will leave it there again. All praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is our heavenly father's name and his only begotten son, our king, our redeemer, Yahweh Shai. And always double honors to our head apostles from the great millstone, the bishop and the elders. And again, salutation, peace to the Lord's elect. Shalom.